I had a client recently that is a non-US company that's considering hiring a CEO in the United States. And they asked me to inform them of what the US tax consequences of having a US employee would be. And actually, this is a question or, or a situation that's come up many, many times over the years, which is a foreign company wants to have a US employee for, for some reason, right? I mean, there's a lot of reasons. The US is a huge marketplace and home to a lot of talent. So it's no wonder that many foreign companies wanna get a foothold there. But doing so has tax consequences that need to be understood. It's so important for foreign companies to understand what those tax consequences are before hiring employees or independent contractors in the US. Having an employee in the US could create what's known as a permanent establishment and subject the foreign company to US taxes. So a permanent establishment is a place of management. So for example, a CEO living there, or a branch, an office, a factory, a workplace, or a mine, for example. There's a lot of different things that could create a US permanent establishment for a foreign company. I mean, the most common that I've seen over the years are a place of management, or an office, or a workshop. Those are kind of the main ones that usually creep up in this scenario. If a foreign company is deemed to have a permanent establishment in the US, it's gonna be subject to US taxes on its US income, right? So let's say you have a foreign company and it has customers in the United States. It has an employee there that's deemed to be a, a that creates a permanent establishment. Then it's gonna be liable for taxes on all that US income that it probably otherwise would not be subject to. This could have significant US tax consequences for the foreign company that they need to understand and be aware of. Once I tell my clients, well, you know, listen, if you have a place of management or an office or something like that in the United States, it could create a permanent establishment. They say, well, you know, the employee, we're gonna hire them, they're not involved in management and they're gonna work from home. So what's the problem? Well, what about the employee's home office? Isn't that an office? It could be, right? A home office could be considered an office for purposes of permanent establishment and subject the foreign company to having a permanent establishment and thereby being liable for US taxes on their US source income. The next thing the clever client always says is, well, we'll just hire them as an independent contractor. Well, this doesn't necessarily solve the problem because the independent contractor could be considered what's called a dependent agent and also create a permanent establishment. If you like our content, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And for more strategic tips on international tax and wealth planning, subscribe to our email list and follow me on LinkedIn. Links below. There's two different types of agents. There's dependent agents and independent agents. So an independent agent is a business that would exist regardless of whether it had this foreign company's business, right? So this is generally like, think about a consulting company with a lot of different clients or a payroll company with a lot of different clients. They're gonna continue to exist as a business regardless of whether or not they're doing business with this foreign company. If the independent contractor is solely working for that foreign company and is under their direction using their equipment, so on and so forth, then they're likely going to be considered a dependent agent. And as a dependent agent, they're likely going to create a permanent establishment that's going to subject the foreign company to taxes on its US income. Look, there's a lot of benefits to doing business in the United States and accessing the talent pool that exists there, but you need to understand what those tax consequences are. And often with proper planning, you can have your cake and eat it too and avoid the permanent establishment and still get a foothold in the United States or access talent there, you just need to go about it the right way. If you need help structuring your US business or if you're contemplating hiring a US employee, give us a call. We've been helping people do that for two decades and I'm sure we can help you find a solution that will work for you and maximize your tax benefits by minimizing US tax. Thank you.